Hi there! My name is Moala and welcome to my tutorial. In this tutorial, I want to speak about custom dialogue. As you see, when I press on this button, I can see a kind of dialogue which I designed that completely to edit text and, you know, border, radius, border, and one button. If I type something, know after pressing on this one I can see this one here okay this is one of the things that we want to learn in this tutorial the other thing is how to handle this dialogue by back button now if I press on this one it get disappeared let's go forward first we need to activate XUI uh, views so from library tab xu xui views this one and then i can define the variable inside global area let's make it public if you make it public even inside other pages you can use the same dialogue because from all pages you have access to a main page and its variables so it only needs you to make it public public dialog as before x dialog okay and we can initialize it here dialog dot initialize in this one parent as i told you before here you can type root because root is instead of activity if you want to use before x dialog inside one activity you need to type activity as parent and then by clicking you know this button which is inside this layout you want to show that dialog so you can say dialog.show the first one this one is for showing a simple text and some buttons this one is for showing a custom layout so it needs one before x view you can define it like this in v as before x view and now we need to create one layout for this dialog how to load it inside this view we need to change something later i will tell you let's go to designer and design the layout for that message for that dialog we can have two edit box one for first name inside hint we can type first name and we can duplicate it and make something for last name very good it's time to save the layout and to load it inside this view first i need to make it a panel because the panel is the only thing which will accept our layout to make it a panel we can use this variable xui xui can you create a panel for me out of this before x view in this one event because I don't need that I can leave it empty and now I can load it that layout which was dialogue layout but it needs dimension it needs width and height how to do it we can use set layout animated originally set layout animated is for animating object but here we can use it to uh, specify the width and height so the duration is not important for us left and top can be left and top can be zero the width the width of this dialogue maybe 60 percent of width of the phone of your user and the height maybe 140 dip now this view is ready and we can put it here 
The rest of things like yes button, no button and cancel button. For now, I just need OK button, which is yes button. No button, I don't need that and even cancel button. Okay, very good. But there are a couple of problems. First of all, is the height of this edit text. Second one is the width of this one, which is going out of this dialogue. Third one, maybe this border, we can get rid of that. And maybe background and radius. Okay, let's see how to do them. About the size, height 40 is good. This one was out of the screen. Why? Because now this is a fixed width. To solve the problem, we can make both of them like left and right anchored. So it needs to be horizontally anchored to both sides, left and right. So later if i make it 50 it will work if i make it 70 it will work because it will adjust its width to the width that i'm specifying here okay let's see the result very good the width is okay what about this border we can get rid of that by border width if you make it zero we can get rid of that but it's still it's there why because all the features all the properties of this dialogue needs to be set before showing so i hold alt up arrow to make it before this showing Okay, now this is without border. And even radius dot border radius, corner radius, like maybe for example, 10 DIP. You see a kind of animation. Can you see that a kind of animation while showing this dialogue? How to get rid of that? here you see this 400 which is there by default make it zero that's it okay we can run the application again and now as you see there is no animation here very good so far so good but now what about getting that text which is entered in first name and last name by user? How can I get that? Let's see. Now I want to get the data which is entered by the user. For example, MM and then after clicking on OK, I want to see that here. How to do it? First, we need to define it and generate one, you know, definition for that here. Now this is added here. And here I can say before X page set title, as I told you before, the first parameter is me and the uh, second one is the title. So me and then uh, edit text dot text. But can we run this line of code exactly after this one? No, we need to wait for the user to type inside this edit text. So we need to use wait for 
as I told you in previous discussion, in previous tutorial. And we need to wait for the result of this dialogue inside one object. And now I can wait for the response of the user. And once that response is complete, I can have the result as an integer. And now I can check if the user clicked on OK button or No button. So here I can say OK and here I can type Cancel. So if the result was positive, which is OK, then I need this line of code. So as I told you before, we can check the positive response this way. Okay, very good. Let's see the result. Okay, now I'm typing something here. If I press OK, I can see that here. But if I type something here, and I press cancel, I cannot see that here. So far we talked about default buttons. What about if I want to have my own, you know, button here, not these default buttons. Okay, we can do it. First, we need to make that here inside this one. And maybe the text will be OK. And even this one needs to be horizontally anchored to both sides, left and right. And we need one event for this one. But the event is button 1. We already have one button 1 which is inside this. So we need to change this ETN. And now I can generate click button, click event. And inside this, I can type this one. Okay, let's see. Oh, I forgot to remove these buttons, but that's okay. Okay, even this button, it doesn't have enough height anyway. Okay, this is working, but this dialog doesn't disappear. So I need to say, please <laughs> go out. First, let me omit these ones. And how to close the dialog this way, dialog.close. It needs a result, the result which we had it here. And we check that here. So pressing this button, do you want it to be like pressing OK button, Yes button, No button, or Cancel button? I want it to be like OK button, like Yes button, positive, like this one. So you can copy this one and paste it inside this. Very good. And about the height of that button, maybe it needs more height. Or maybe we have problem here. Okay. Okay, it goes. Very good, it's working. The last thing that I want to do is using back button. Let me make it smaller. Back button. What about if my user is clicking on back button? Now what happens, the whole application will collapse. But what I want is like 
you know, cancel button. You know, when I, uh, you know, press back button, I just want this dialog to get disappeared. Only this one. How to do it? Let's see. Now I want this dialog to get disappeared once my user is clicking on back button. What is happening now is just closing the whole application. To handle back button, you need to use key press, actually activity press. Here, you know, first I need to check whether user clicked on back button or something else. If he is clicking on something else, it doesn't matter for me. But if by this one, I can check if he is clicking on back button. If key code is equal to key codes dot back button, then I want to close the dialog. How to close the dialog? We did that here. So let me copy that. I can copy that. And here I can paste that. But he, here it says dialog. I don't know what is that one. XUI. I don't know. Because that is inside before its main page here. So these are public and I can use them. Before that, I say before its pages dot main page dot now I have dialog and I have XUI. Very good. And I can copy that and paste that before this one. But it needs to be like cancel button, isn't it? Very good. Let's see what happened. Now the dialog is here and I press on back. Oh my God. Again, the whole activity is gone. The whole application is gone. The problem is that, you know, back button works for dialog and even for application. So I want to say if this process was successful, as you see, this is Boolean. If this one was true, and you close the dialog, then return true. I mean, don't do anything else. Just close the dialog. If you close the dialog, okay, that's enough, and I don't want you to do anything else. Let's see. Now I'm pressing on this one and only the dialogue is gone. Now, if I press it again, now the application is gone. So, now if I type something here, okay, it works. And if the user is clicking on back button, even this one works. Very good. I hope these tutorials can help you learn something new for your application and can help you be a better developer. I hope you enjoy these tutorials and please leave me a comment if you like these tutorials. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please, please subscribe to my channel. And if you like my tutorial, please hit on that like button. Thank you for watching.